Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Second MRI, and this is a 30-year-old mixed martial artist injured their wrist recently. X-rays were normal, and on this coronal T1 image here, we see that they do have some low T1 signal beneath the articular surface here in the base of the lunate, and this may be related to a cortical impaction injury or um, a periosteal avulsion type injury at the scaphalunate ligament attachment. There's no scaphalunate widening. This is the scaphoid bone lunate bone, triketral bone, here's the capitate bone. And if we go uh, towards the palmar aspect, this lunate bone looks abnormal on this view. So it looks like that may be rotated, looks funny there. But uh, right here it looks pretty normal, the proximal carpal row. Now we're going to go to a sagittal, I'm sorry, a coronal PD fat sat. So this is a view where you can see that scaphalunate ligament a little bit better. And look at that marrow edema. So this bright signal on this PD fat sat sequence is associated with the low signal on T1 image, so this is just a, a non-displaced uh, fracture or periosteal avulsion type injury there. There's no uplifting of the bone, patchy marrow edema underneath it, and then the rest of the scaphoid is also a little abnormal. It looks like it has an injury, bone contusion or stress injury, and the scaphalunate ligament we can see in here that's not completely torn. There's no scaphalunate widening, but it does look a little bright, so it's probably partially torn especially with the marrow edema here. If we go towards the palmar aspect, now we're getting to a cut here where we do see a little bit of fluid signal on the palmar aspect. We're sort of out of where the scaphoid base is, so it looks like they may have maybe a partial tear along the palmar uh, margin of that scaphoid ligament where it attaches to the um, scaphoid bone. And here it just doesn't look quite right. It's a little bit too bright, not perfectly symmetric, so a definite partial tear of the scaphoid ligament and maybe even a little focal perforation along the posterior margin. But no scaphalunate widening. And now we're going to go to the sagittal view to look at the capitate bone and the orientation uh, relative to the lunate bone. So this is the lunate bone. It looks like it is tilted dorsally at the angle here. This is the lunate angle. We have the angle of the capitate bone here. And we should see the uh, lunate bone as a cup perfectly positioned right here underneath. We should see the nice straight line between the radius. We should see that cup sitting here perfectly and then the capitate bone, but instead it looks like the lunate bone is uh, subluxed uh, palmar in the palmar direction there. And we see it's tilted backwards. So we have an abnormal angle here. This is about 35 degrees. Normally this should be less than 30 degrees, this angle. So we know that they have a ligamentous instability. Sometimes with positioning you can get a a funny looking angle here as well. Um, but in this case it's more than 30 degrees, it's 35 degrees, which is abnormal. Now we're going to measure the angle between the uh, lunate bone here, the same angle relative to the scaphoid bone. So this is the same lunate angle here. This is the scaphoid, the long axis here. And we see this is very close to 90 degrees. This should between, be between 30 and 60 degrees. This is way off. So in the end this is dorsal intercalated segmental instability, there's a ligamentous instability, and we have abnormal uh, angulation between that scaphoid bone, which drops down this direction, and the capitate bone, which tilts dorsally. And again, these injuries are often associated with injuries of the scaphalunate ligament, like we have here. And thank you very much.